chashu, spam, beef teriyaki, mochiko chicken. There's so many options. I don't know what to do. Last video, you saw us making the mac salad for a Hawaiian plate lunch. But to finish out the plate lunch, we need some sort of protein. When I was browsing through the Aloha Kitchen cookbook, there were so many options and it was really, really difficult to decide which protein to choose. But I ended up going with shoyu chicken. This has everything I want in a recipe. It's really easy. I've already got all of the ingredients on hand. It's a mostly hands-off recipe, and it looks delicious. It's the perfect recipe. We are going to start by braising the chicken. As the name suggests, the main ingredient in the sauce for it is shoyu, which is Japanese soy sauce. Then we'll add a good bit of water to thin out the sauce. Otherwise, it's gonna be really, really intensely salty. So this makes it into a bit more of an enjoyable sauce to eat. Then both honey and brown sugar for sweetness. Peel and thinly slice some ginger, and then a few cloves of garlic. Since we are smashing the garlic and not mincing it, we're using fresh this time. And the recipe said two or three. That means nine or 10, right? Nestle your bone-in, skin-on thighs into that sauce and bring it to a boil. Add in some sweet Maui onion wedges. The recipe said about half an onion, but in my opinion, more is always better because these will cook down into the ooey gooey jammy onions that are so delicious. I added in a bunch more onion and I didn't regret it. Lastly, some green onion pieces. Then you just let it simmer, turn the chicken halfway through, let it simmer some more. Hands off, super easy. Once your chicken is fully cooked, then we're gonna broil it. Remove the chicken thighs onto a baking sheet covered in foil and broil it just for a minute or two. You don't wanna burn anything, but you want your chicken skin to get nice and browned. While the chicken is broiling, we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch to the sauce and let that cook a bit to thicken into a nice gooey sauce that we're going to pour over the chicken when we eat it. And there you have it. Serve it with rice and that mac salad that we made last time, and you've got the perfect plate lunch. Let's eat. I've got a hunch. You're gonna love this plate lunch. <laughs> it's tasting time. I was waiting to see what you run with that. And I was like, bunch? It's I a think treat about bunch every time. Or, or dunch? Oh wait, that makes no sense. But what if I had gone with show you chicken? I love to read Charles Dickens. Have you ever read no, I don't know. any Charles I don't think so. That's the only thing that could come up. I could come up with that rhymes with chicken, Dickin. I mean, I have. Right? So it would have been. <laughs> I don't even know who the, who he is. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. Except it's for that gorgeous. mess. Don't in worry the, about the, the mess. Side. Don't worry about the mess. Yeah, I, had to reach, the mess. I had to reheat the chicken. But look how pretty this this plate lunch that we have going on here. We have our beautiful mac salad for last episode. That we talked Check about it out. last time. We have rice. I cook rice this time, okay? He cooked the rice. For everyone who's watch our stream, bus driver especially, this is fresh cooked sushi rice. I didn't even tell him to cook rice. He came up with it all on his own. Yeah, I'm a big, so I'm a big boy now. I'm, I'm a big, a big boy. kid now. <laughs> and we have our beautiful show you chicken. Show you. Show me your chicken. Show us together. <laughs> So let's let's taste this, Allison. Let's okay. do it, Allison. I'll hold yeah. it up. I'll hold it up, and you can. Oh, this gosh. is gonna be a very, a very interesting situation here. Yes, bite into it. Bite into it. Okay, put it down. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's getting weird. I am usually a double mac kind yes. of person. Yes. However, 
for mm. this specific mm. dish, mm. we're going with mm. half mac, half rice, because this chicken is really, mm. really rich. It's so good, but mm. it's so rich. So you kind of need the rice to lighten things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I think that's why the... Uh, it's just oh. ASMR. I'm, I'm leaving you to your ASMR. Um, <laughs> that's why the, the pickles in the mac salad work so mm -hmm. well. I just ooze my fingers on in the mac, mac salad. Mac and salad. It's a, it has a new name. The mac, and, mac salad. and salad. Okay, so the chicken is sweet. It's sweet. It's, it's very rich. Very rich, yes, yes. I would say that it's a little bit too sweet for, for what I'm very used to. sweet. Right? But mm -hmm. th that's typically. I think would you personal say that's... preferences. I would use less yeah. sugar. But do you think that's it's usually good, how it is with Hawaiian food? It's I a little a bit of, more. A, a little bit Hawaiian more towards food. the sweet. Mm -hmm. That garlic chicken that we had, oh, the yeah, sugoi yeah. Yeah. garlic yeah. chicken. Yeah. That was fairly sweet. Mm -hmm. There's there's a lot of. Their sauce is mm -hmm. usually pretty sweet. It's on the sweeter side. It, it works so well with the mac and salad and the rice. If I were to just eat. No, it's mac and salad. <laughs> I don't think you even realize. I need to uh, just just go on with it. They they at this point they know what I'm We're talking renaming about. It yeah, mac, mac and salad. salad. <laughs> but it goes really well with a mac and salad, okay? Yes. And the rice. The with, mac without, and salad without, and rice. Yes. Mac and salad. Awesome. Yes. It's not and. It's mac and salad. Like like chicken and salad. No, mac and tosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> mac and salad. It's it Irish now. <laughs> It all makes sense. It's an apple. It's actually Irish food. It's an apple salad. <laughs> yeah. The mac and salad, it goes... <laughs> but it goes really well with the mac and salad and rice. Without the mm -hmm. mac and salad, it would have been a little bit too rich. You know, the yeah. rice has no flavor. This is... The chicken is it's very, it's very sweet. I would even serve this with takwan. So takwan are those yellow pickled daikon. Mm. You see them a lot in Japanese cooking, like on the side of curries. I think that would go really well with yeah. this. We were eating it with like just fresh cucumber, which also helps yeah. to lighten it up. So like with a salad or um, even like over a bed of um, cabbage, mm -hmm. fresh sliced cabbage, yeah. like you see a lot yeah. at Hawaiian yeah. barbecue places. Um, that would also be very tasty, yep. but this is really good. This is really good. I do want to say that adding in a whole nother onion worth of sliced onion to this, was a good idea. Was a good, was idea. A good idea. Yes. And one thing I want to say about this one is that uh, it eating this reminds me a lot of Vietnamese food, mm. where you have a lot of things being cooked in a, a braised, caramelized. Yeah, you do tend to do that bitter fish sauce caramel. Yes. A lot yes. in Vietnamese cooking. Um, I've done it with um, pork belly. Pork yeah. belly and eggs is a very common one. You'll also see it with fish, fish, like catfish, or I've done it with salmon, yeah. um, which is less Vietnamese, but Vietnamese style cooking. Yeah, I've, I think we've even seen it with like chicken and stuff. So even the food coma part of it, it felt like a Vietnamese feels food like a coma. Vietnamese food coma. <laughs> it felt like home. So we did a good job. Yes, yes, did a good job. yes. This is really good. I I'm very happy with all of it. Yeah, I'm really I, happy with. With I, both I of can't these. think of a, 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 a negative part to this at all. I mean, really, really, the good. only negative is that, well, two things. One, it's a little sweet. Yeah. Well, a little more sweet but, than we would personally choose yeah. most of the time. Two, it only made five. Yeah, that is a negative. Triple the portion. Have so, this for the next month. I don't think it'll last that long. It won't, but still. Have beautiful food coma. A big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you want to support our channel as well, you can become a patron. Just go to patreon.com slash sushi day and choose whatever level you would like to support us at. If you are not yet subbed to this channel, hit that sub button and come back and check out more of what we make. And like this video because it does help our channel grow and makes this little sleepyhead happy. And if you would like to see more. What? Shh. Oh.
If you would like to see more of the videos that we've made, you can check out our whole playlist of food videos right over here. Where? Right here? Above your head. Oh, click me. I'm a dork. <laughs>